Okay guys, now we have gone through plotting the point on a graph. We have gone through what a straight line graph is. And of course I took down this graph, but I could basically show you what we had. We had a graph that looks something like that. And the next thing for us to do is to find, I'm trying to make this a little bit straighter. The next thing that they're going to require us to do is to be able to find a gradient of the graph. Now what does gradient mean? Gradient is talking about the height of the slope that we have. Notice that we have a slope that is going that way. But if I should do this, what we would actually get is something that looks like a right angle triangle. And so a slope, the gradient could either be a positive gradient, a positive if it's going this way, or if I had a graph that was going that way, then I would end up getting a negative gradient. See, negative is on this side, positive it's on that side. And so my gradient or the slope can either be a negative or a positive. Now, we had this graph, which had a positive gradient. Now, how do I work out the gradient? Or what is the formula for working out, for calculating my gradient? To calculate the gradient, uh, it is referred to in mathematics as rise over run. Now, what do I mean by rise over run? So you'll get the problem, calculate the gradient of this graph. Rise over run. My rise is my y-axis. My rise, that's why it's my y-axis. And my run is my x-axis. Okay, so the rise over the run. And so I am now finding points. I have to find two points. I'm going to take, so it's going to take, the formula is actually going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I gotta find two x values and two y values. And I could I could pick values at any any point on this this graph. Any two values is going to be able to work out my gradient and I'm gonna show you how that works. Okay? So let's take the first one. Here's my x and at x here's the first value I have here. It's the beginning. I have x as negative 2. So this is a point negative 2, comma, negative 7. My x is always written first. My y is written after. So this is the, this would have been my um, y1, x1. So this one would have been x1, and this one would have been y1. And when I get to the next point at the end here, I have 3 and I have 11. And this would have been my x2, and this would have been my y2. The formula says I am going to take y2 minus y1. And that is going to be divided by x2 minus x1. So let's go. What is y2? y2 is 11 minus y1, which is 7. So 11 minus minus 7. It's important that we pay attention to these negative values. 11 minus minus 7 over, what was my x2 again? 3. 3 minus minus, this is 3. This first one was 3, not a 2. 3. Sorry, that's a 3. 3 minus minus 3. As I said, it's important, this point right here was a negative 3, not a negative 2, a 2 is there. So it is going to be 3 minus minus 3. It's my y2. What is y2 again? That's all the way out here, 11. And what was y1? Negative 7. So it's 11 minus minus 7 over my x2. Where is x2? Right here, 3. And where's x1? Right here. Minus, minus 3. This is end beginning. So we could look at it that way. I'm separating my, I'm subtracting my beginning from my end. And so here we go with the calculation. A minus times a minus times a minus is going to give me a plus. And so I have 11 plus 7, which is going to give me 18. 
same thing that is happening here minus times a minus is going to give me a plus three times three three plus three is going to give me six minus times minus is a plus three plus three is going to give me six and so this becomes 18 divided by six which is equal to three so my gradient which is normal